Hey Leo, welcome to your fall predictions and guidance. Um, again, this is for the fall season 2022. Let's go ahead and see what we get here for you, Leo. What do we have for Leo? Okay. Looking really positive overall. I mean, towards the end especially though. Um, you have the Six of Pentacles as your overall energy. So this can be a card of giving to new things, um, giving and receiving, uh, in fact. So I feel like there are new exchanges going on here in the fall. Uh, some of you, there could be a pay raise or something to do with a loan coming through in the fall months. Somebody could have their moon in Taurus or their moon in Libra, but you don't necessarily have to. Um, I feel like there's a lot going on here for you. You start off with the King of Swords. We have an Aquarius card here. Um, what is going on with that King of Swords for Leo? What's going on with the King of Swords for Leo? Okay. We have the Two of Pentacles, Jupiter in Capricorn, um, the King of Cups, Scorpio, and the Ace of Wands, Fire, Aries, Sag, Leo. Um... You know, I feel in, in the Ace of Wands, she's got the fire on her third eye here. I feel like there is something that you feel coming. Uh, Two of Pentacles, you may feel a little bit out of balance emotionally, um, maybe intuitively. Uh, like you may feel just a little bit out of whack. And Six of Pentacles is your overall energy here, um, which is giving and receiving, but there are more Pentacles on one side than there are on the other. I feel like you could feel a little bit out of balance, but there is some clarity coming in. Um, some of you are waiting on some information here. You're waiting on some information, waiting to hear back to, with something about money for some of you. Others of you, it's from this Scorpio or this Aquarius, this fellow fire sign here. But you are going to be getting some kind of answer um, in the beginning of the fall here with this King of Swords. This is someone who's very serious. Like I feel like there's somebody who's working with you here. It really feels like it's career related or school related for some of you here. Um, but I do think there's somebody doing you a favor, all right? But you feel something coming with that Ace of Wands energy. You feel it coming intuitively, and you may feel like, maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm off, and I don't think you are, okay? I don't think you are. I feel like something big is happening. You have the Chariot right here. I mean, absolutely, that's something big happening. You have two majors in a row, so let's look here. The Chariot. The Six of Swords. Yeah, you're able to finally move forward with something here. You have the Empress showing up. Uh, yeah, I don't, uh, I don't want to say I don't like these messages. I just don't like to deliver them. But the Empress can be a card of pregnancy or fertility. Like, you're getting closer to the birth of something here. It doesn't have to be an actual pregnancy. Um, like, you're, you're finally getting on track here. Three of Wands. You've been searching for something. You've been waiting on something here. And it's finally happening for you, okay? Because a lot of you, I think that there's been something that you've been searching for and it's like every time you go to look for it, you can't find it. So I don't know what that's about. It could be like a job opening of some sort. Um, yeah, it could be a job opening of some sort. There, there's just something here that it's always closed when you're looking for it or, you know, it's always closed when you need to go there. Like it's just very inconvenient for you is how this feels to me. It's like you can never get something at the right time. That's what it is. You can never get it at the right time and you're finally doing it here and it's allowing for a big turning point for you with the chariot showing up. It's allowing something to actually be birthed into existence rather than just existing in the headspace here. You're able to kind of ground it in reality and see when it's going to come to fruition here. You do have the Emperor Aries energy. What's going on with the Emperor? Now, this change could cause you to take on um, a lot more responsibility than you're used to, Queen of Swords, but I feel like you definitely have the mind for it with the Queen of Swords showing up. That's somebody who um, has a sharp perception here. You have the sun. Yeah, and you can see everything. That's the energy that I feel with the sun. You can see everything. When the sun is showing, when the sun comes out, it's like everything's exposed out in the open. And I do think that you know all you need to know in order to take on this position, this responsibility here. You have the Six of Cups showing up. Yeah, people are looking to you for something. Um, excuse me. Some of you could be getting a pet, a new pet in the fall season as well. Random side note, but uh, that could be happening. Could be getting a dog. Uh, with the Six of Pentacles showing up, people are looking up to you. Uh, some of you, there's something to do with children here. Something going on with children. Uh, you do have the Emperor and the Empress and the Six of Cups. 
the sun. Uh, yeah, so I feel like you're supporting, you're supporting a new life here, okay? Even if that is the birth of a new idea, you're supporting a new life on some level. Even if that is the birth of your new life, okay? Your own new life, right? But I feel like you're taking on a lot of responsibility, but it's leading to something really, really exciting for you. And it does feel like you have waited on this or you have searched for this and it's like the timing is never right, but it's finally happening for you this fall. You have the Two of Cups here, Venus in uh, Cancer. Somebody could have Venus in Cancer. You could be meeting some someone new. If that's the case, it may be through work or travel. What's going on with this Two of Cups for Leo? Okay, we're getting two here. Ten of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands. My goodness, work and travel, okay? Um, everything's starting to fall into place for you. I absolutely love it. Ten of Pentacles is the best money card in the deck. So a lot of you, there could be some kind of uh, connection taking place here um, with a person who is just as stable as you are, okay? It's possible that this could be an interview going on in the fall season that's going to lead you to long-term stability. That Two of Cups, it can be an interview. It doesn't have to be a love connection, but it does feel like a significant person is coming into your life um, the middle towards the end of fall, okay? And it's going to it's going to be a long-lasting friendship, relationship, whatever it might be here. This is going to be something you communicate, someone you communicate with very easily. Now, for a small portion of you, they could live at a distance, but that wouldn't last long. I feel like you'd end up living near one another at some point. But the Six of Pentacles, you're giving to a lot of new things with that Six of Pentacles being your overall energy. Now, Page of Swords. Page of Swords, what is that? Nine of Pentacles. You have that showing up next. So, I feel like these next two cards, yeah, I feel like these two are going to go together here. What else? Ten of Wands, Saturn and Sagittarius. I want to look at this Nine of Pentacles over here um, to see how they connect, okay? Page of Swords, wow, okay. So you have the Page of Swords to the Nine of Pentacles and then the Nine of Pentacles to the Page of Swords. It's very interesting because the only other two cards left are two Tens, Ten of Wands and the Ten of Swords. So give me just a second here because that's kind of messing with me. Um, there could definitely be an air sign who's got their eye on you here as you are working towards something. You know, Ten of Wands, it can be carrying a burden. It can also be following your inclinations, and I think it's kind of going both ways here. There are certain things that you are just feeling like you're, you're not thinking twice about doing the things that you need to do. You know, it's like you're not sitting down and procrastinating things here at the end of fall, which we all get into those, you know, um, what, what do you call it? <laughs> we all get into those ruts. You know, we all get into those funks where we want to just put things off, but you are in a space where it's like, I just have to do it. I'm not going to think twice about it. I'm just going to do it because it has to be done. You are just really getting things done. And that Nine of Pentacles, somebody is watching you have this stability here or they're watching you work. Like they're watching you move towards something. They're like, they're moving differently. What's going on with them? What's going on with Leo? They're moving differently. And I don't like it. That's the energy that I feel someone in here. Um, and then you have the Nine of Pentacles show up over here. So it's like it does come out, like the rewards, the fruits of your labor, like I said, um, you're going to be seeing those towards the end of fall. But you have the Page of Swords here as well, and then the Ten of Swords. So I feel like there's something that you may be forced to end here, Leo, because it didn't end before. Like I feel like the door was left open. I feel like the door was left open and the two of you have watched one another or this person is watching you. So um, now I do want to say with these Tens showing up here, um, and the Page of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles all showing up twice. Um, it's the energy of being curious, observant, learning new things. Um, it's also the energy of being independent, stable, enjoying the finer things in life, being kind of on your own here. And the Tens, Tens are completion, right? Ten of Wands, very hard work that you're putting in here, but Ten of Swords, an ending, a betrayal of some sort. So I do think that in this energy, like what it is that you're working towards, what it is that's coming in for you, you need to keep quiet about it. Um, unless you're going to cut this person out, okay? This isn't a person you need to share things with, and it could be someone from your past, but they are going to want some kind of handout here. Could be someone in your family as well, Leo. Like, there's someone who feels like you owe them something, and they may have not even felt like this until you saw that you were finding this stability. So it's like they're racking their brain here trying to figure out what it is that they have done for you that deserves some kind of handout, you know, some kind of return. So be cautious of that. I feel like there is something huge that you've been waiting on. It is finally happening for you, and you have have this energy that's kind of watching you and you've kind of watched them a little bit so be cautious of that I feel like you're leaving the door ajar here and you know you're leaving something open so make sure that you're closing that before you decide to be loud about this accomplishment here okay
Ooh. Wish wisely. These, these are your guidance cards, by the way. Wish wisely. Use your wishes wisely to manifest your heart's desires and take practical steps towards making your dreams come true. Like I said, I think that's an energy you're moving into where it's like all business, no messing around, right? And I think that's what's allowing something big to happen for you. 1010 on the camera. Come together. Fairies like to be busy, and a group of them is showing you that many hands make light work. Working as a team helps get the job done, but make sure you're working with the right people. Like I said in the beginning, I feel like you're moving into position or you're you're doing something differently here where people are looking up to you. They're looking at the way that you're doing things. You may not realize that you are in a little bit of a leadership role here. Like people are looking at you as the leader of a situation. So um, you know, be mindful of that because I feel like it's going to make all the difference when it comes to achieving your overall goal here. Next you have celebration. Get ready to let your hair down and celebrate. It's time to go out and dance and play. An invitation could be on the way, okay? Love that for you guys. So yeah, even though you're in this all work energy, make sure that you find some time to yourself to look on the lighter side of things because, you know, otherwise it could just lead to frustration because there's all this all work, no play energy. It could lead to resentment towards the goal itself. So yeah, Leo, just be mindful of that. I do think lots of good things are happening for you. I absolutely love this reading. You're only my fourth, but it is my favorite so far. Um, I do hope that you'll watch out for your other signs. And I read over on Instagram and TikTok. I also have another channel. If you all want to check any of that out, links are down below. I'm also going to link some other readings here. For those of you who are new here and you haven't seen any of the other readings I've done, I'm going to link a couple recent ones here. But yeah, Leo, if this is where we part, I want to thank you so much for watching and supporting me. I really appreciate you, and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.